the good old case on the game. These niggas be choppin', they goin' insane. I told the baby, come in my lane. I told the baby, come and give me that brain. I be in the booth. Yo, hello. It's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this crazy looking glitch effect you guys saw in the beginning and uh, yeah if you guys want to support me I have a website uh, so feel free to check that out but yeah let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is to choose a clip we want to uh, use for this effect and I'm going to use this trippy red clip from his music video Mr. Rage and uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to root brush out our uh, person here and if you don't know how to rotobrush, brush I made a tutorial on it so uh, check that out first but yeah first I have to rotobrush brush this so now when you're done with the rotobrushing brushing here we are going to add a effect to the clip which is called ball action so now it's going to look something like this, uh, your clip here. And I'm going to be changing some settings here. Uh, so the first setting we're going to be messing around with is going to be brightness here. I mean, I meant the twist property and then choose brightness here. And then you're going to twist the angle 180 around there. And from there, we're going to go up to here to rotation axis and then rotate this again. Maybe there looks good. Yeah, to make him more visible, we're going to drag down the grid spacing to zero. So it looks a lot more realistic. Now we're going to add an effect called pixel sorter. And here we're going to drag this the threshold up to 204. But yeah, you can mess around a lot with this effect. And uh, it also depends on the colors and stuff you have on your clip here. So you have to mess around a little bit with the pixel sorter. But this is the setting I like for uh, my clip here. And then we're going to make a adjustment layer. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to add Glitchify. And the only setting we're going to mess around with here is going to be the image glitch here and then disable it. And then we're going to make a new adjustment layer again. So you press Ctrl Alt Y again. And then here we're going to add Colorama. You're going to go into Output Cycle. And here choose Fire. If you want to have the same look as me. And yeah, for the last effect, we're going to add a new adjustment layer again. <laughs> and uh, here we're going to add a deep glow. And we're going to increase the radius to 613. And the exposure is going to be 1.6. Uh, blending mode is going to be add. And you're going to check smooth blending. And you will get something like this. And if you're not uh, satisfied with the ball action effect, you can go in here and then mess around a little bit more with the settings. Yeah, I think this turned out pretty, pretty clean. And uh, yeah, you can mess around if you're not satisfied with the you know ball action effect and uh, get the look you, uh, you like. Yeah, that's how you made the crazy glitch effect here. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website. If you guys have any new ideas and tutorials I can make, please comment that down below or uh, DM me on my socials. And uh, like and subscribe, check out my website, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.